Maps tell stories, interesting stories you've never heard, and that's what this book is all about. Yeah, like when the American government sent a diplomat to Mexico and his job was to buy Mexico. Yeah, guess how that turned out. Cuba came this close to becoming a state. The Philippines came this close to becoming a state. I mean, the story is repeated over and over again. <laughs> yeah, my favorite is like, there's this territory out west and it's got all these guys who went out there for the gold rush and no women, but they want to be a state. So they're not quite sure what to do. So they, whenever a wagon train comes through, they would like court the women, they put on dances and stuff. Well, the territorial leader would do this, but all the guys who lived there were like, didn't know how to talk to a woman, didn't know what to do, couldn't make that connection. And so the state ultimately failed. Our boundaries have always been fluid and that's not gonna change. Or what about high taxes? How many times have states threatened to split apart because of high taxes somebody thought was unfair? I mean, like 20 times. Why are there two Dakotas? And you know, New Mexico and Arizona, we're gonna be admitted as one state. Everyone thought that would be the way to do it. But why did it come into two? Throughout all our history, states have been regularly added to the American map. Americans don't know anything about geography. And if geography was just like memorizing state capitals, I mean, yeah, that is boring. Are you kidding? But behind every squiggly line on the map, there's an interesting story. And that's kind of what we try to bring to light in the book. Boundaries tell a story, our story. And that's what I tried to pull together in Lost States. Thanks.